Oh gosh, I started uh, at SFA when I graduated in 1981. Um, and I started as a program advisor and worked in student activities and produced uh, all sorts of uh, events, movies, concerts, speakers, fashion shows. We did it all back then. And then I uh, worked my way up uh, along the, the way through that student affairs side of the university uh, and became the uh, Vice President for University Affairs in uh, 2007 and then served as Interim President in 2018 and a lot of 19 through September. Um, went back into my Vice President's role, retired at the end of 2020, um, came out of retirement to serve as Interim President again for a little while and then the board was kind enough to uh, honor me by naming me the 10th President. One of my primary responsibilities was producing concerts on campus. So uh, I was part of uh, producing 78 concerts during my time. And those concerts, there were a lot of them that were uh, very special. The first really big one that sticks to my mind was Boston and Sammy Hagar. We did Linda Ronstadt early back in the, uh, the late 70s. We did everything from Garth Brooks to Pearl Jam, pick out any a major act. We almost did all the major acts, but this was back when a band put out an album, a uh, record company put them on the road to promote the album, even to third level markets like Nacogdoches was considered. So we picked up a lot of shows uh, on a Thursday night as uh, bands were traveling through. A lot of people I know will have memories of shows they came to uh, while they were here. And that's another reason I think yearbooks are so important because I can always go back to a yearbook uh, and flip through it and remember because there's always pictures of the shows we did. Uh, and those were really great memories for me, uh, working with a lot of students, uh, working with the entertainers, uh, having people from all over East Texas uh, come here for our shows. Uh, those, were, those were very strong memories. But, the best part of my job has always been working with students because what I did then primarily was help direct a large number of students in producing uh, these events and um, a lot of them went on and, uh, and became very successful and then when I would visit with them they would often recount some of the things that they had learned through that whole production uh, process that really uh, served them well later in life. So. Um, when you're an educator, when you have a person come back and say what you did mattered, man, that's, that's all it's about right there. Well, I'd say the biggest change is computers. <laughs> uh, that really, the addition of technology really did change a lot of things. Uh, on campus, it sped things up uh, and it distanced us in some ways. I still think we've lost one of the great social experiments of all time in gymnasium registration periods. I remember coming back uh, from the summer and registering for the fall and you met all your friends in line and you talked about what was going on and got to visit with faculty that were working the tables. And so uh, even though we went to a, um, online registration at some point, it certainly made it easier and quicker but we lost something in the, uh, in the mix with that too, I think. And so that's just an example, I think, of the change that uh, I've seen. Of course, the campus itself has changed quite a bit. A lot of addition of new buildings, uh, the subtraction of older buildings. And I think it's one thing when I visit with graduates that have been away from campus for maybe 10 or 15 years and they come back and visit and they're always sort of shocked by the way the campus has changed, but being here, it just seems like a very gradual and normal change and it's not as shocking as sometimes when uh, I visit with graduates that haven't been here uh, in a while. Oh, I think the, the day I was named president, that, that full day of events was just fabulous for me. My family got to be here and participate. A lot of friends came in, a lot of past regents that I'd worked with over the years came in to celebrate that day. Uh, I don't think I'll top that as a, as a memory over my time of serving uh, as president. That's something that I will never forget.
Well, you know, it's kind of odd when I think about it. I've been here 45 of the 100 years, and I think it's such a milestone. And we, we grew up a very particular route, uh, starting out first to uh, uh, planning on being a normal, which was a name for an institution that trained teachers. Uh, the uh, spring before we started classes in the fall of 1923, our name was changed from normal to uh, State Teachers College. Uh, so I've joked we were so close to being normal around here and we've, we've just never been normal since that time. And then the evolution from the State Teachers College to State College, then to State University, uh, and the uh, expansion of our programs, the growth of our uh, uh, enrollment. And when you look back over 100 years of that, um, it was a culmination of a lot of history, a lot of heritage, uh, a lot of people's hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, so um, it's hugely significant.